Hello, this is Mel Thompson, and this is a podcast and a series of podcasts about political risk. Today, I'm going to be talking about the president-elect, Donald Trump, and his global populism. In a relatively short period, the global populist movement that will either stick to a narrow set of principles that will possibly level the domestic playing field or ingratiate itself with ideas and concepts that venture into all aspects of policy and then end up in the end destroying global economies. We, don't, we are not sure which way the populist movement globally is going to go. And now we really need to be concerned with that, not because of any particular domestic policy that the president-elect would want to institute, but his concepts and ideas that would dovetail with global populism. Trade deals matter and protectionism in the area of global in the era of globalism is not a solution. It is a disaster looking for a victim. Treating people fairly within borders includes assuring that they will be, have training for jobs that become obsolete or move. It is the way of the world and to have to any, any, any level of acceptance as far as a global power, you need to understand how this works. Not all the jobs that move were jobs that were going to be here forever. And when you don't try to replace them with something that can help people maintain their standard of living because you are afraid that if you don't make promises about getting back obsolete jobs, you won't win an election, is a recipe that you are going to wish you had never found in that book. In other words, as I said previously, this is a disaster looking for a victim when it comes to global populism, trade policies, and what the Trump campaign has kind of fallen into on the global trade stage. We're not talking about any other political issue. We're not bashing uh, Donald Trump. We're talking about some of the policies that he has advocated when it comes to global trade and the populism that is going on in the same vein in other countries and how all this together may cause a serious problem at home. Frankly, there's little need to panic at the election of Donald Trump when it comes to his rhetoric regarding trade. NATO and other alliances are not going to be impacted. It's, I just can't imagine that the rhetoric that Trump put out there about certain things is going to be any more than just that, just rhetoric. Now, even if some of the more troubling aspects of Trump's global economic agenda are passed, the totality of lawsuits will delay these changes for at least a decade or more. My point is clear. Trump or any populist can create a political risk by their rhetoric and possibly by some of their policies. However, the world has been hardwired to the degree that this rhetoric will never become anything more than rhetoric. People are not going to give up trade. They're not going to give up company and individual rights because of one election. Populism is not a bad thing. It is a good thing when it creates opportunities and levels of playing field, when it makes people feel that they are important and they can control their own destiny. They can When it improves infrastructure and education, it is not so good when it ties up people in situations and conflicts that rip up all aspects of capitalism and global trade with no clear path to follow. I believe that the level of political risk posed by Trump is limited to U.S. domestic policies that impact the overall social fiber of the country in ways that do not have anything to do with what I do for a living or this podcast. I think that his rhetoric when it comes to global economic trade is limited and foreign direct investors, investors need to be weary and leery of all, of all the rhetoric, but they also need to take a breath and realize that it's going to be almost impossible in this day and age for everything to go just right for every single thing you ever knew that made your foreign direct investment possible in the first place to go away because of one American election. This has been Mel Thompson.